Hi guys, welcome back to the desk corner and welcome to a bonus video. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to just quickly compare some of the builds of different popular colored pencils and figure out which build I like the best and you guys can figure out which ones you like the best. So let's go ahead and jump into this. As you could see, I've got a lot of my colored pencils out and we're just going to choose one from each set. So I've got my Holbein pastel toned set here and I'm just going to choose one color. Let's do this one. I've got my Caran d'Ache Luminance and I just picked up the smaller portrait assortment because it doesn't really matter what pencil color, what exact pencil we use. We just need one pencil. I've got my Derwent drawing pencils. Some of my favorite pencils ever, actually. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to try to edit this down. Pick one random pencil from there. We've also got my Caran d'Ache Pablos. And these are also upside down. It doesn't really matter. We're going to pick one pencil. Which one do I want, actually? I think I want a green. Let's do this one. For my Prismacolors, which I don't use anymore, but I used to use these a lot. Let's go ahead and pick one. I'm going to just pick a random color. And finally, we've got my assortment. Okay, so here I've got my polychromos. Which one should I do? This one. As you guys can see, I've also got some other types of pencils here. So we're going to pick a pro color, just a random pro color. And we're also going to pick a Derwent Light Fast pencil. Burnt Sienna. If you know, you know. I'm gonna pick a Color Soft. I've only got a couple of those anyways. Oh, there's my Create a Color Mega. I guess we can include those in here as well. A uh, metallic pencil. I don't know if I want to include... I guess we can include a metallic pencil just for the fun of it. So I've got a Derwent metallic pencil as well. And I think that's about it. If I have the light on, it actually looks a little bit too harsh, so maybe I won't have the light on like that. If you're wondering what I do in my free time, this is a good indicator. You might be wondering, how exactly is this battle going to work? Well, we are going to go through and look at the different quality of the pencil builds, and I'm talking about the casing itself and how the pencil is built rather than how the pencil performs, so no, we're not going to be doing performance tests in this, except maybe we will be checking to see how firm and I guess strong the lead of the pencil is. So let's start, where should we start? We should start with the Prismacolor because this one I actually do have some issue with. So our Prismacolor pencil is rather light and as you can see the casing does not cover the back here so this is like an open exposed end here. This pencil in particular looks to be centered decently well, but I've had issues with some of them not being centered so well. The actual core for the pencil is not extremely strong. They tend to break sometimes during sharpening or when using pressure because they are a very soft pencil. The pencil feels quite light. I don't really have any issue with the printing on it. It is a little bit hard to see because it is one of those reflective silver um, prints. So as you could see as I change the light here a little bit, it's a little bit harder to see the color name, which is Canary Yellow, by the way. So the Prismacolors, how do they fare with build quality? Not the best build quality. It kind of just reminds me of like how a Crayola pencil is presented. Next we've got the Faber-Castell Polychromos, which if you compare to the Prismacolor, it's actually, it looks to be like a little bit thicker, I believe. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker and it is closed on the back here. The casing is closed on the end. So it's not like an exposed lead like the Prismas. They also have like gold printing, so it's reflective, but it's printed, the color name and number is printed larger actually than on the Prismacolor pencil. Oh, is this actually the old, this might be the old one because I know Faber-Castell has redone their printing on their new pencils. So this might be a little inaccurate for the printing portion of this. The core is actually pretty much the same size as the Prismacolor, but these ones are not known to actually break very easily. They're pretty like break resistant 
and the firm lead probably plays a part in that. It seems like they have a very strong core and it's very rare that I actually break one of these or have parts of the pencil crumble. Next we've got the Holbein Artist colored pencil which I don't have a whole lot of experience using but if we compare it to the Faber-Castell and the Prismacolor it looks much more like the Faber-Castell with the gold band and printing. It's about the same, yeah, it's pretty much the exact same size as the Faber-Castell. It also has a closed end on the back. As far as I know, the lead is pretty firm. It seems like when I was using them, they were more of a feel of like an oil e pencil, but I could be wrong because I have no idea how these are manufactured. So the build quality of these seems to be fairly strong, although they do have this kind of weird... Can you guys see this? Let's see if it will zoom in. This like weird kind of space here where this is cut off the paint. See, you could see that. And you don't have that on the Polychromos pencil. So I'm putting these in order of which ones I think are best so far. Next, we've got the Color Soft pencil. This one, so the, the actual Derwent ones are very similar, and Derwent usually just has a good build quality in general. It's going to be quite hard comparing these ones, but the Color Soft is kind of like this reddish brown colored casing, and it's pretty easy to see the color. And the letters here are not quite as reflective. It seems like they are actually like matte. And the back is closed, of course. All of these are closed pretty much except for the Prismacolor, unfortunately. And these have a very firm lead. I know this because even though they are a soft pencil, it didn't seem very much like they are super breakable. So it's very buttery when you color with it. I shouldn't be talking too much about this one. I've only used it a couple of times, so maybe somebody who has more experience with the color softs could give their input. As far as the casing goes, though, I think this is good. I think it can go under the polychromos. Let me show you guys the order so far. Next, we've got the Pablos, the Karen Dash Pablos. These are also reflective. I don't like these reflective, like, lettering things as much because you can't really see. Sometimes when you're just, you know, grabbing for a color, you want to be able to see what color it is, and if it's reflective like this, you have to move it sometimes to catch the light the right way so you could see it more clearly. And my eyes are pretty good. I'd imagine if you have any issues with your eyes, it would be even more annoying. This pencil is hexagonal, okay? So that means when you put it down, it's not going to roll away. This one is actually fairly thin. It's actually like the same size as the Prismacolor, but of course it's close-ended here. Because the pencil is hexagonal, it's a lot like a lot of watercolor pencils which are also hexagonal and I actually like that because they don't roll away so because of that it's going to be bumped up before the whole bind. I like that feature. I'm still putting the Derwent first because Derwent just feels sturdy. Speaking of Derwent, next we've got the Derwent Pro Color. Pretty much the same as the Color Soft but in a gray casing instead of this reddish brown. And I actually prefer the gray casing, if I'm being honest, so that's going to bump it up ahead of the Color Soft. And the reason I didn't explain much for this is because it's literally the exact same size and it's, pack it's cased the same way. The only difference is the color. And these are both matte colors, by the way. I guess while we're on that Derwent roll, we should continue. Or maybe I should split this up a little bit. How about we do the Create a Color Mega Color? Okay, these are awesome. These are giant. Again, they have that reflective um, lettering. Is that actually reflective or is it just white? Oh, it's actually just white. Okay, on first glance, I thought it was very reflective silver and it's actually just white. Very easy because it's a big pencil to see what color it is. And we've got that closed back. We've got the hexagonal shape. We've got a nice firm lead. Actually, these have to be one of the best because they are promoting less like hand arthritis. When you hold a bigger pencil, it's actually less straining on your hand. I guess I'm going to have to bump this one up um, because I like this. I do like this. Let's put this one. Let's put this one above the Polychromos because it is hexagonal, so it's not going to roll away. This is getting interesting. So now we've got the Derwent Metallic. This is a light pencil, also hexagonal shaped, but feels so light that it almost feels a little bit flimsy. 
and it's a little bit harder to grip, although the hexagonal like ridges here do help you to grip the pencil. Do they feel quite as sturdy as some of the other ones? You know, I don't know, but I do like this hexagonal feature, so I'm going to put it next to maybe slightly above the um, the Pablos. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but like the other Derwins, they're also closed in the back, but these are much smaller than the other Derwent pencils. If we would compare, you could see they're actually much smaller, and the printing is in black, which I don't have an issue with either. But I don't like how small these are, so we're just going to put them down here, actually. So we've got three pencils left before we can finally see how these all fare together. So next we've got the Derwent... Let's do the Derwent drawing pencil. I love this pencil. It's rounded, it's not hexagonal, but the printing is in white, the back has closed casing, which I really like, and the core is thicker than most of these besides the Create a Color Mega Color. And because of how sturdy and nice this pencil feels to hold, and how thick and strong this core is, I'm gonna have to put this one above, maybe even above the Polychromos. I think I'm gonna put it up here. And the one issue I have with it isn't related to the build quality, it's just that you can't get fine details because of this really thick core, but we're not really basing things off of that in this video. We're just going based on the casing alone. So I'm going to put that under the Mega Colors. Okay, so next we've got the Derwent Light Fast Pencil, and I am a sucker for wood casing. The cedar wood is so gorgeous, I love it. The printing is a little small when you look at the color here, Burnt Sienna, which by the way, if you'd like to see my Burnt Sienna investigative video, I'm going to link that one down below. But it's got closed casing like all of the Derwent pencils, but because it's so, so beautiful and cedar wood, I have to put it above the others. I think I'm actually just going to put it, where should I put it? I might even put it above the, the Faber-Castell because I love the cedar wood so much. And speaking of cedar wood, our last contester here are the luminants. And the funny thing about the luminants is they look so similar to the Derwent Lightfast. Here's the Derwent Lightfast on the bottom, and here's the luminants. They look so similar. Of course, Derwent has this little, like, band here. Besides that, they're both color dipped at the end, and they have that round barrel at the end, and they're both, like, wood. So these are so, so similar. It's almost like they worked together to create these two brands of pencil. The one thing about the luminance though that I dislike more than the light fast is that the luminance has a really hard to read printed name here. I don't even think you're going to be able to see it at all on the camera, but it's kind of just across this way. And it's very hard to see that. Okay, so it says Indian Throne Blue, but it's very difficult to see. And in comparison to the light fast, which has very small printing, but at least it's across horizontally. I think the luminance does a worse job of that. So even though these are gorgeous and the cedar wood is gorgeous, I'm gonna have to put this like... I'm gonna have to put this further down. I'm gonna have to put it further down because it bothers me. I don't like how you can't really look and see it at first glance. You can look at the color dip if you recognize the pencil enough, but if you really are new to these and you're looking at the color names, it's just hard to see and hard to read. And the letters are so squished together also. I don't know how far this is going to bump these down. I, I'd want to say here because of the cedar wood, it still has an advantage over some of these other ones. So what are the results here? Well, in first place, we have the Create a Color Megas because I think these are just great to hold in the hand. Next, in second place, we've got the Derwent Drawing Pencils, which I love, I just love how sturdy these are, and it's not just because of the casing, but also because of how thick the core is and how strong it is. And in third place, we've got the Derwent Light Fasts, which are just beautiful with the cedar wood, and they're a strong pencil like the other Derwents. In fourth place, we have the Faber-Castell Polychromos. I love the casing with this, but it is a little bit reflective, which really annoys me. And then we're just going to go up to fifth place here. So in fifth place, we've got the luminance, which would be way higher up if the lettering was not so difficult to read for the color name. It's just so annoying. And let's look at our last place. So in last place, we've got the Prismacolor Premiere. I'm so sorry, Prismacolor. Please just up your game. Besides that, though, I'm not talking about the performance of these pencils. The performance is pretty great, but we're just talking about the build quality here. And second to last, we've got the 
the Holbein Artist colored pencil. And the only reason I put these in second to last is because I don't like how this looks. Yeah, I don't know. But it is a little bit too reflective and the lettering is a little too thin. I mean, it doesn't even show up on the camera. So here are our winners from first to fifth place. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my life, I don't know either. But I hope that you guys find some entertainment in this and let me know what your guys' favorites are and why in the comments down below. If you'd like to see more bonus videos like this, they actually don't take me much time at all to make because I'm not usually creating much artwork just talking about some fun stuff, so if you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments down below, and I will make more of these types of videos. That all being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, of course, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!